In today's episode, we're gonna go from this to this using a tileable texture and manifolds. The first ingredient in this is to create a tileable material. So I use sampler here to create the material. So if you wanna see more how to do this in depth, you can leave a comment on the video. So essentially here, what I did was to uh, tile this material. And now we're gonna jump into Houdini and tile this across the asset. This is the textures that we exported out from Sampler. And so we have this color that I'm gonna use. We have this displacement or height, and we have this roughness that I'm gonna use for this material here. First off, we need to convert them into text. And if you haven't seen the previous episode, I encourage you to look at it where we actually hook up uh, some textures. But in this time here, we're gonna do this with tileable, so it's gonna be slightly different. So I'm just gonna pick this director here, take this one, select the folder. The displacement here is gonna come in as SRGB texture, but this one is essentially a data. So I'm just gonna apply that to this one, reconvert it. Yeah, so before we apply these textures as a material, I wanna take a step back here and take a look at some concepts. So we have tileable maps and we need to repeat them. So on a regular texture node here, if I go into um, this uh, parameters here, there is no repeat on the, to the actual texture e node itself. I'm just gonna plug this UV checker in so we can uh, check here what happens. And I'm also gonna make this a constant. So I'm, I have a Pixar constant down here that I created. So if you wanna do that Pixar constant, you will find it uh, there. So I'm going to plug this in instead of the shader, I'm going to plug this one in so we override it. And we can see here, this is essentially what you get out of the box. So it applies it like one time across the UV and, and that's it. So to be able to control the repeat, you need to have a manifold. So you have a manifold input here. So if I create a Pixar manifold, so tab, tab uh, Pixar manifold. And, and then you take this one, we have now input here and nothing happened out of the box but if i now start here to change the frequency here if i start to change the frequency you can see that it, it starts to react here so let's see here let's set that with we, we tile this 10 times like so and we can now here start to see that we have essentially tiled the texture so this is what we want to do with our materials so you you connect the result to the manifold and you can see here it's also color coded you can see it, it's the same color so it's quite evident where to put it. There's a side note here when it comes to UV sets. So in UVST, if I the default UV set is always ST, and you can check this here. If I select the geometry on one of these here, if I go down here, you can see UV set name here ST, Primvar ST. This is the UV set that this asset has. You might have additional UV sets. And for example, if you would have a Maya named UV set, maybe called map one or something, you would uh, insert map one. But as this one is ST, you can either type ST directly here, or if you have nothing, it will fall back to ST by default as well, because that's kind of what the uh, UVST is assuming is the default UV set. So now let's start to hook up these uh, textures that we just converted we want to see this in context here so we i prepared here uh, a column node here we have a specular roughness we have a bump and we want to insert these into the slots here let's say that we want to take this one i'm just going to go control b to go full screen here on the no graph and just hook this up diffuse color you can see that uh, this one is going to go to specular roughness, so, and it's a float value, you can see here. I'm going to take the red channel and say specular roughness there. The bump here is going to go into the input bump. It's also float on my Pixar bump node here that I've created. And now here we have a manifold. I'm just going to hook this up to all of them, the same manifold, so we control them all. Uh, essentially from from this location now if i go to control b again start to change here in the manifold now so we can see here one one this is the default you can see here the uv seems if i do something extreme 0.5 or something you might start to see the uv seem more evident yeah you can see it there so you might get away with the 2d tiling depending on 
like how many times you repeat it and how close you are. In some techniques, you might need to apply a 3D projection, like a round cube. And I'm going to cover that in another episode. If you're unsure how to configure a texture manager, I made a video about that. So in this one, you can learn how to override some of the color space rules and naming associated with textures. 